Hello healthy people who are looking to get yourselves healthier, fitter and stronger in your bodies and in your health. I thought I would uh, shoot you this quick video because um, something came to me this morning during my quiet time and I was thinking about events that I've got coming up um, later on this month and um, there's there's an event coming up on, on an opening and, and I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, that's going to be great and then um, I can have some crisps to celebrate as well. <laughs> I don't know where that thought came from. I mean, it's early hours of the morning and this thought of having crisps came to me. Um, and as some of you may have read my, my previous posts around cravings and emotions um, and how that connects together, it just, it, it just surprised me. So I thought to myself, oh, that's, that's strange. It's like seven o'clock in the morning. Why am I thinking about crisp why do I feel to have crisp on that day and so I thought to myself so I checked in with myself and I thought okay what emotion is that is that connected with um and then when I really thought about it I thought okay there's joy there's happiness there about this event coming up this celebratory event but there was also a little bit of anxiety and um a little bit of fear a tiny bit of fear a tiny bit of anxiety so I guess I would have been looking to have to eat the crisp for some form of comfort because crisp is my com one of my comfort foods sugar is the other one um but so far actually so far on my gut cleanse because i'm still on my gut cleanse um i haven't had any cravings for sugar well maybe once i had a, a tiny bit of craving for chocolate but hardly any not as strong as previously so um so yeah so i, I thought to myself okay so what is that craving attached to what is it that i'm actually craving am i craving reassurance am i craving um happiness am i craving joy because if i'm going to utilize crisp as a form of comfort food to soothe or to suppress that emotion of anxiety stress and fear then i've got to look at healthier ways to be able to manage that emotion so um i was just exploring that this morning so i thought i'd share that with you guys because i know some of you um, are experiencing the same thing with regards to comfort eating, emotional eating and how that connects to the emotions. So it's about pinpointing what those emotions are, what cravings equals those certain emotions. It's about identifying them, being aware of them. And once you have that awareness, once you identify them, then you are in a better position then to be able to say, OK, that's an interesting emotion. How can I better manage that in a healthier way? OK, and, and not by food, because food does not help our emotions whatsoever. So I'm going to leave that message with you today. Um, if you need any help on cravings, if you need any help on comfort eating, emotional eating and how they connect with your emotions, then hook me up, send me a message um, or you can email me at info at I want my body back dot co dot UK. That's info at I want my body back dot co dot UK and um, share this video with your friends, family, those who you know suffer with cravings, emotional eating, comfort eating, and they need help in this area, share this video with them. I'm Lillian Lati from I Want My Body Back, and I will speak to you soon. Take care, have a fabulous day. Bye.